Hey folks, have you ever wanted to 3D scan something to take it into Fusion 360 or Blender in order to be able to modify it? Well, I have. I was researching scanners and I was looking at them and I was going, oh my god, look at some of these prices and not a lot of reviews or rating, you know, so the risk seemed awfully high to me to do this. And while I was looking at this, I happened to look down at my desk and I see three phones sitting there. So I thought, there's got to be an app out there that I could use on one of these phones that could give me something decent to work with in order to be able to scan an object. So while I was doing some research, I discovered this guy, Jack, is building Kiri, where he is comparing three major technologies. He goes through the details of photogrammetry, Nerf, and LiDAR. He's basically comparing these five apps, which ones use which technology. After watching this whole video, I decided that I'd give Kiri a try. So the links to the QR codes are in the description below. And once I downloaded, I needed something challenging. I looked up and there's my daughter's old unicorn piggy bank. So I figured, let's give that a go. So now that I've got a challenging model, I broke out a stool that was uh, kicking around and I put the unicorn on it and prepped it for scanning. So here I've got the free version downloaded on my Android phone. All you have to do is push the plus button to get started and select photo scan and take photos. This is giving you a little bit of a demo of how to be able to take the pictures and the instructions are pretty simple to follow. The free version gives you unlimited scans but it only gives you three uploads a month and you need those uploads in order to be able to convert to the 3D model to edit. So once I close that out, you can take pictures manually going around your object if you want. I prefer to use the automatic and then push the little red button. You're gonna see that there's a scale at the bottom that is going to progress and it'll be red until you hit sufficient pictures for it to be able to identify what this is and even in spite of being so jerky it'll it'll actually create a very decent model once it's taken 40 pictures that scale on the bottom will turn to green and i'm not going to take 40 pictures now i'm just going to jump to showing you the results from when i originally scanned it so here i am on the curie engine website and I'm already logged in, but there's the model that I scanned on my phone. This model can be edited on your phone or here on the web with a cropping tool and then a texture toning tool on the left. But look at this. I mean, for a free scan, I think that's pretty amazing uh, that it picked up this unicorn so well. I mean, okay, it's got some odd items uh, underneath but I think this is something that I can work on and improve and I'm going to show you that coming right up but just before I do if you hit the crop button over here it's pretty easy to be able to crop this thing and you select a wall and you're going to push the wall in you flip it upside down you can select this wall you can push it in oh I'm getting really close to the feet there I won't waste any more of your time processing this even further because I'm going to try to scan again, creating my own green screen. So stick around and I'll show you that coming right up. Here I am creating my own green screen using cheap dollar store paper that I picked up for a buck a sheet. I then went and borrowed my wife's Lazy Susan so that I'd be able to rotate the model while I'm taking the pictures of it. I thought it would be easier. So placing the unicorn, and then just for fun, I thought it'd be funny to put Captain America on the unicorn, and I know it's supposed to be Deadpool, that it's not supposed to be Captain America, but I don't have a Deadpool. <laughs> so here I am already logged into Curie Engine, and you can see here all the experimenting that I've done with the green screen, and here's the results of the Captain America sitting on the unicorn. Man, the Captain America head and the shield. Man, that stuff all looks dynamite. It came out really well. The unicorn did not come out as well as when I scanned it all on its own. So there's definitely lots more experimenting to do, but 
Look at this crazy bulge in Captain America's head. I mean, it's so peculiar, it's just bizarre. Anyways, I'm going to take this into Fusion 360 and I'm going to try to fix that bulge. I'm just going to focus on fixing the bulge to see if I can manage to take care of that. Before we get into Fusion 360, I just wanted to show you that I'm no stranger to Fusion 360. I'm certainly not an expert, but you can see that I managed to draw up and 3D print this uh, steampunk fish clock in Fusion 360. Here I've already inserted Captain America riding the unicorn into Fusion 360, but I gotta tell you, I was really disappointed to discover that I need to convert the mesh, and that's not the part that disappointed me. The part that disappointed me is that it needs to be converted to an organic mesh that is not included in the licensing fee that I have. And I hate the fact that this is basically a sales upgrade. So if anyone knows of a method for being able to repair that lump in his head, other than taking this upgrade, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm dropping this for now, and I'm going to shift over to trying to repair it in Blender. So here I am in Blender. I've imported the model, but honestly, I have zero experience with Blender. It looks like it's quite a learning curve to use Blender in comparison to everything that I've ever done on Fusion 360. So naturally, I went to the web, and I started doing research on YouTube, and I found Taylor Hokinson, who is basically giving a step-by-step -step on how to be able to repair your scans. Now, unfortunately, this looks very cumbersome to go through detail by detail. Well, this definitely didn't end the way that I thought it would. Uh, I'm really open to any ideas or suggestions anyone might have. Otherwise, it looks like I'm going to have to learn how to use Blender, so please stay tuned. 